our star is going to tell everybody what? Whose team should they root for? Would they root for Jacob? Jacob team Murray. Jacob. Uh huh. What about there's other guys? What about would you vote for Scott or Jeff or Doc Rodenball or Jacob? Which one? It, for Uncle Joe, mm -hmm. who do you think out of those four guys is going to grow the biggest pumpkin? I go for my brother Jacob. Yeah, boy, brother Jacob. <laughs>Okay, here we go. Start of the week. Plans are pretty simple. Start of the week, we're going to keep the plants cool, I mean warm. And then the end of the week, we're going to have to keep the plants cool. It's going to start out very cool here, and then it's going to get hot. I think we're going to get up almost to 90 degrees. So keeping the plants cool is always a trick. Now, luckily I have this small greenhouse in here. So it's a lot easier for me to do but that's gonna be the big plan for the week here we are we've got the 2365 wolf which is a beautiful plant this one here if you remember right i cut off the first true leaf i would never recommend doing that i also cut off the kickstand to every single one of my plants so the kickstand i'm going to be doing in the future in fact the ones that i have outside i'm cutting off the reason being is this 2261 Smith, it is, I mean, almost caught up to the 2356 Wolf. And, I mean, the 2356 Mindy. It is so close to as long. You can see its main vine coming out right there. Now, the other sweet thing that I've never had, these plants are both around a foot long. Generally, I'm coaxing them down right now i'm trying to figure out okay can we get around the kickstand leaf can we keep it well this one here and the other one the mindy are both touching the ground already they just laid down perfectly so little note i think i'll be doing that in the future that kickstand leaf taking it off right away i did that because i wanted it to heal so when it gets to this stage when it's touching on the ground it's hard to see the leaf is down it's supposed to be right back here and it's all healed up perfectly so you can kind of see the leaf where it would have been right there 2261 smith what a monster it's gonna be a race and i'm hating to do it again that one's a beauty i would love to grow that one out but right now she just ain't keeping speed We'll check back at the end of the week. And now it's time to check out to see if your plant that you thought was going to be the one that I keep is actually going to be the one that I keep. 1990 Marenzer on the left. We already know the 2517 didn't work if you watched my last video. This one looks great. We're gonna keep it there. I don't keep them a long time. All I wait for is to make sure that the main vine isn't a weird thing, no double vine, no weird funkiness going on. And then I wait for touchdown. So the minute that that main vine hits the ground, everything looks good, there's no crack, give it like a day, half a day, then it's time to cut that guy out. We're just making that call right away. So I'm gonna guess that it's going to be, well, you can see, there's the main vine there. Be extremely careful. It's morning. A note to all of our new growers. I like to use coat hangers to keep my vine kind of from moving. Even though I don't have much wind in here, I do have fans blowing on here. I don't want that to be shaking a ton. So if you're outside, use something like a coat hanger. I've seen skewers. I like these. They're really nice on the plant they keep it from they allow it to move enough that the plant can still get a little hardy but they also don't let it twist and break in the wind so i really like those but don't come out here in the middle in the morning like it is right now i think it's like 6 30 7 o'clock in the morning don't come running out here and look at your vine that oh my goodness this grew several inches last night well it's going to be growing six eight inches here in a little bit 
sometimes overnight. Don't come out here and move that and stake it because then you're going to break your tip off and then your season's going to be off to a real slow start. So don't be in a rush to move that. Let that do its thing. Then in the evening, move it, okay? Nice warm weather. The vine is more pliable. You're not going to break it. And don't really smash it down, okay? So anyways, that's the 2356 Mendy. Great looking plant. All right. I've got the end of the week update going on here, and I got a new model. I don't know if you've ever... Have you ever been on the videos before? No. Are you excited to see yourself on YouTube? Yes. Yeah, you're going to be famous, aren't you? Oh, yeah. And who are you? I'm Tim And who... And you're what? My what? I am Gekka's brother. You're the my... Fifth. The fifth brother? Yeah. Okay. So you're, you're my actual fourth brother, but you're yeah. the fifth kid. Yes. Yeah, so you're not... Yeah, you're kind of a y young one. You're not quite as old as me. No. No. <laughs> well, I, and I also remember, you know... I watch some of my videos, and I don't always say the day. So today's Sunday. I think the first video we took of the plants was on Monday. Yes. Is it, yeah, yeah. All right, Uncle Joe, are we ready? We're going to take him inside? Yes. Okay, let's go in the greenhouses. All right, in the famous Joe Morenser we got back here, giving us a little plant update. He's balancing, aren't you, buddy? Yep. Okay, so, Joe? Why don't you tell us what you think of these plants? Turn around and show us which one you think. Because we got a big decision to make, Joe. You yeah. know what we have to do? Yeah. What do we have to do? We had to um, water it. Uh huh. And we had to put seeds on it. Yeah. And then let the fans go. Um, the fans blow on them? Kind of so they go them. too hot? Yeah. Yes. And then there's two plants here. Yeah. Do I grow two pumpkins ever? In the one location? No, you did only one. I only do one. Uh -huh. And you make a really giant pumpkin. To make one giant pumpkin, I only grow one, right? Yes. And do you like seeing the giant pumpkins? Yes. Now, um, so there's two plants. So what do you think I have to do? Well, we're going to separate a little bit. Do maybe, maybe I cut them out? Yeah, cut them out, yeah. So, okay, so we're going to go over here, and I'm going to talk about the two plants. Let's go. Just kind of watch out of my way a little bit. All right, so here's the first plant. We're gonna talk about Joe, turn around here. He's, he's got to, everybody's gotta wait. That's just too bad. You gotta tell everybody they just gotta wait. Uncle, there you go. Uncle Joe's gotta get situated. He's situated now. All right, so this plant right here, let's tell him about that okay. one there. What do you think? That is okay over here. We're okay over here. This is the, two, this came from a 2006, 365 pound pumpkin, yes. Mr. Wolf grew. Yes. And you think that one's okay? Yeah, that's okay. okay. Oh, all right. Now we're going to go over to this one. And this one came from a 2,261 pound pumpkin. What do you think about this one? That's okay also, too. Okay. It's needing more, more roots inside. He needs more roots inside before we cut him out? Yes. Now, if you had to choose between that one and this one, which one would you choose to keep? That one right there. This one right here? Yeah, with the, the more. Leaves. Oh no, the 2261 Smith. What about that one? That is kind of small. It's kind of yeah. small? Yeah, man, there's three leaves on it. So maybe I should get a knife and let you cut that thing out of here, huh? Yeah. You want to do that? Yeah. Okay, well, we might do that a little bit. All right, mm -hmm. so there's your update on these two. Let's go look at the other ones. All right, we're back with the pumpkin YouTube star right here. Joe Marenter, and we're in the other tent. We went and walked over here to the other tent, and we got, what do we got in this tent? Look around, Joe. We got more of our pumpkin here. How many? We got one, two, three, four, five, and little six. And that's leaves, but how many pumpkin plants do we have? Only one. Only, wait a minute. There was two pumpkin plants in here. Yeah, it's two. That makes three right now. Three right now, but there was two in here, and you're only seeing one? Yeah, I only see one. Everybody on video thinks there's two in this plant, that there's only one. Uh-oh, what happened? Mm. Oh, no. We got to go show them. What do we got? There's a 1990 Marenser. It's set right there. Well, the problem was is that this plant was starting to swallow it up. Look at that girl. Holy cow. We got a little cobra head going on. And people who watch our videos, mm -hmm. they know. what. Do you know what cobra heads mean, Joe? No. 
So where you see this this part of the plant right here, yeah, it's got it's uh, growing, mm -hmm. and its vine is starting to angle down. Generally, when they start to angle down like that, yeah. it means the plants are starting to grow wow. super fast. So it's probably about two feet long right now. So there we go. What do you think? Do you think I chose the right plant here? Yeah, you chose the right plant. I chose the right plant. So that's a good one. Okay, well, we're going to go ahead and sign off for the week. Wait, start. see right there. Our star is going to tell everybody what. Whose team should they root for? Would they root for Jacob? Jacob team Murray. Jacob. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. What about, there's other guys. What about, would you vote for Scott or Jeff? or Doc Rodenball, or Jacob. Which one? It, for Uncle Joe, mm -hmm. who do you think out of those four guys is going to grow the biggest pumpkin? I go for my brother Jacob. Yeah, boy! Brother Jacob!